What's up YouTube, it's Apple Prisma here today. So this is one of the most requested things you guys asked for, which is how do I re-enable achievements on a map that I have already used creative mode in and so forth. So today I'm going to be showing you two methods. One that works on any platform, kind of, as long as you can open your Minecraft Worlds folder. I will get into that in a minute. Um, but yeah, another method only works on PC. So let's get into it. Okay, so now that we're in a map, <clears throat> as you can see, we're in creative mode. And if I click over here, you can see achievements cannot be earned in this road, this, this right here. And you can see it's in creative mode and so forth. Okay, so first things first, let's say we want to be a little cheaties. So we're going to grab ourselves a few netherite tools, you know, just because we want to. Let's say, I don't know, diamond armor, I don't know, just grab stuff, right? Whatever. Whatever you want to grab. Okay? So, you know, there's the setup. Now, as you can see, since we're in creative, we're not able to earn achievements. So, how do we remove this right here and be able to still be able to get achievements? Well, this is what I'm going to show you. So, first things first, we need to come in here. And we need to scroll down to here where it says uh, cheats, uh, allow cheats, disable that. Second thing we want to do is turn survival mode back on. Now, we're also in survival mode because we have it said so cheats are not allowed. But yeah, so now that you're in survival mode and the map no longer has cheats enabled, let's get into the first step. Okay, so now that we're over here on the PC, this is what you have to do. Now, we know this method does work on any platform as long as you can open your Minecraft Worlds folder. So what I mean by that is, if you can open the location where your Minecraft Worlds are being saved to, that folder, where you can see all your Minecraft Worlds, right? You can do this method, okay? So the way it works is you need to replace one file in here. So, with this method, you do need to make sure that you do this on the same thing. So I'll explain that in a minute. So <clears throat> you see this level dot dat? That's the folder we're going to replace. Now, this folder right here contains a lot of information. And the reason you have to make sure you do this right is if you don't, you will have some issues. Okay, so what you need to do is simply replace this with a non modded version so make the same map so copy the seed of your map you want to change it to same seed make sure it's the exact same seed if it's a different seed this may mess up your map doing this method just be alert of that that's a possibility now if it's the exact same seed you will have no problems or you should have no problems always make a backup of your map before doing this just in case always be safe and sorry now, <clears throat> okay, so now that I've done said that, this is the first step you need to do. This is the mod map right here. This is the survival map. Map that has never turned in game mode creative phone or no cheats. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to come here, we're going to copy it. And we're going to copy it over here. And now we have just replaced the mod version with the legit version. And that's literally all we have to do. Now, in the game, it should automatically refresh. You may have to restart your game depending on certain things. No, it, the best thing is to restart your game before doing this. To make sure it works every time. Otherwise, you may have some issues. Either way. But that's how you do it. You simply take the level dot file and you put it over there. So that's literally all you do. And you're pretty much done. Just make sure it's the same map seed. Otherwise, you will have issues. And just make sure one is creative and one's not creative. Um, the one that's not creative, just copy that one and put it in the creative one. Also, one more thing is the uh, underscore old. Don't touch that one. If you touch one, you may break the map. So just don't touch it. So yeah, that's all you have to do. Also, the map name may change. And that's fine if it does. That's no big deal. Just change the map name back to the, uh, the one you had originally. Just because it changed the uh, map name. So yeah. But it's really all you have to do. So let's get back into Minecraft. And I'm going to show you this rug. So as you can see, we now have the items we cheated for in creative mode in our inventory. And everything's still exactly the same. Now, if we go to settings and check. 
you see the name of the map has changed, like I said it would. Um, that You can just change that back, it doesn't matter, it's just always going to change it to whatever the name of the map was that you copied it from, so that doesn't matter. And as long as it's the same seed that I originally had, it will never mess up. Now, the one thing is, if you do copy it, if you did not um, untick this box right here, the allow cheats, it may still be in cheats and it may mess up that way. Normally it won't if you're copying it, but it may. So just always uncheck this before doing it because it could cause some issues. Now, everything else should be fine. And yeah, now you just reset your map back to survival mode with all your default items. And now you have the items or mods or whatever you want to do. And that's literally all you have to do in order to be enable uh, achievements on that map. Like I said, just rename it afterwards and you'll be fine. Now, there is one more thing I want to show real quick. Okay, so now we're back. This is what happens when you copy a folder that's of the wrong seed. So, you may say I'm weak and I had to dig out of here, don't mind that. So, when you copy a seed of a... You copy a level folder of a different map with a different seed. This happens. So this is the same map, but you may notice this is here. Um, yeah, I didn't build this. So if I just climb up here real quick, I can show you what I'm talking about. So, pretty much everything that was loaded in after uh, I copied this folder has now broken. So all of the chunks that have not been loaded will get replaced with whatever chunks were in the new biome. So, that's a problem. And even some of the chunks you previously have loaded may also get converted to the new, uh, the new biome and the new items. Because, as far as the game can tell, this right here, this whole area that has been loaded right here, it still thinks this may be from an old Minecraft update or whatever. It, it thinks it's a totally different map. It, it says none of this should be here. And instead, it tries to replace it with these kind of items, whatever was in the other biome, the other map. So in the other map, obviously I was in the Badlands, that's where the map is. And everything outside this loading range should be Badlands. So, yeah, that's pretty much how it works. So just make sure it's the same seed, otherwise you will have issues with your map. So just make sure if you're copying and you want to replace a seed, Make sure it's the same seed, otherwise you have issues. I just can't make that clear enough. But before doing any of this, always make backups. Just to be safe. You never know what can go wrong doing something like this. Always make backups. Backups are key. Okay, so what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to show how you can do this on PC. So if you're a PC player and you don't have to deal with any of these issues, let me show you how you can do it for PC players. This is the safer option and the better option uh, on PC. But you could do it that way too. Either way works. That method just works on point machine platform as long as you can access your Minecraft worlds. This method strictly works on PC, so let's get into it. Okay, so now that we're back on the same map, I'm just gonna give myself another item. Let's say XP potions. Just so you know this is the PC version. So yeah, that's my XP potions. Now I went ahead and re-enabled um, achievements again. So as you can see, creative mode are uh, disabled again. I mean, creative mode's enabled. Cheats uh, are enabled, so that way uh, the achievements are disabled now. So once again, now this, this is really where you need to do this step. If you don't do this step, it, you have to do it later and it's more complicated. Just don't deal with it. Simply come in here, go to where it says allow cheats, disable it. Do it for yourself. Make it easy on yourself. Simply come here to where it says creative, disable it. And now that you're back in creative mode, everything should be good, right? Now, this is easy. Now, achievements are not enabled yet, we still have achievements disabled. Now let's hop on the PC and do the PC version to fix it. So let's go. Okay, so now we're doing the PC version. I have two different programs here. Either one will work, they both do the same, but just to show how these programs work, simply come up here to where it says files, Click open and then find the location where your Minecraft folder is saved. Same for this program, just do open. Find where your Minecraft folder is saved and open it. Um, for this one, you just simply click load. For this one, you simply click word settings. Now, 
What you do after you do this is inside here, this is your level folder, the one we just copied before. So let's say you don't copy it. This is the PC method for it. So what you want to do is scroll on, scroll on down, keep going, to where you see this right here has been loaded in creative and it says one. That's how you know cheats are disabled, like achievements are disabled. Simply come in here and set that to zero. And over here, it's the same thing. Scroll down to where you see it has been loaded in creative, like so. And then simply set this to zero. And now on both of these, it's now zero. And that's as simply as you do it. And now, as I was saying earlier, if you have any issues with it, because see, random seed, that's the seed of the map. So if you copy another seed, it will mess it up, like I said it would on the last part of the video. And you can mess with some of the other sins in here if you really want to, but it may mess up your game. Just be aware of that. Um, yeah. But yeah, you can mess with a lot of sins in here, but since we already disabled everything we already need, it's fine. We don't have to touch anything besides that one thing, where it says, has been loaded in creative mode. Now we've done that, we simply want to either click save here, or on this one, we just want to click save here. Either way, just save it, and now we go back into Minecraft. Okay, so now we're back in Minecraft. As you can see, I have all the items, as I said. If we open this up, and now it should say, yep, there's no disabled achievements. Now, this method is a lot better in the sense of there's no way the map gets messed up, like the seed and all that messes up and everything else is wrong with it. This is the safest way to where you shouldn't have any issues with your map after you do this, because all you're changing it's one box that says has been loaded in creative or has not been loaded in creative. You just have to change that one box and you're fine. Just save it, you're done. Don't touch anything else. It's the safer of the options and it's a lot better. Unlike the other method where you copy the whole folder, so any sense may be different, may mess the other version up, so forth. That's that's kind of the problem with that one. But the other one is the easier method. This is, you know, only for PC players and can be a little bit harder. But yeah, that's literally all you have to do. Also, if you want to see the new Mongo biome, this seed is actually a pretty good one because you spawn right next to it. So if you want to get the seed for that, that's the seed right there. So yeah, that's literally it for the video. Now you know how to re-enable achievements on any map as long as you can access your Minecraft foot folder or your own PC. But yeah, that's literally all you have to do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.